Hello everyone, I hope everyone is good and they're staying safe. Today I'm going to show you how to boot into the Windows pre-installation environment as well as access from your network, access a Windows 10 install folder. Okay, so what I have in front of me here, this is on my host computer, not virtual right now, is I have um, an ISO image of Windows 10 Enterprise, just an older evaluation copy. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to extract it right directly into this folder. So I already have my folder set up and everything that I want to access. So right now it's just going to extract everything. Hopefully this doesn't take too long and I'll catch up once that's done extracting. Excellent. It's finished extracting. I'm just going to delete the ISO image uh, saved in 100 places. Okay, so now that we just have our folder set up with it, we need to set up the install from the Windows PE environment. So here's my virtual machine. We're now into the Windows PE environment. So saying that, let's access the root of this. So change direct to root. Clear screen, just make it simple. So the command that you're going to want to use for this is net use. And then from there you want to uh, create a drive letter. Really it could be anything. I like to use the drive letter that the folder is sitting on, so in my case it's H, semicolon, and space, backslash, backslash. Now you can either enter in your computer name if it's on the same network, or better yet, and this is the way I'll take, for example purposes, is enter in the IP address of your host machine. So in my case, 2.168.0.1.2. The folder that I have shared with this is just called Quinten, all one word. Also, as well, I'll show you once the setup starts going is uh, once you have everything in your folder, make sure you share that folder. Okay, now it's asking for the username. So, in my case, it's admin. And then you just enter in the password of your host uh, computer that's hosting the folder. Okay, now we just need to change. Now we just need to switch to that H drive. Here, I'll bring up the directory just to show you the files inside. So you got your auto on, your boot, your boot manager, your boot manager EFI file, your setup.exe, and the setup.exe is what we're after. So all you have to simply do is type setup. That's going to bring up the Windows 10 install. I'll just quickly go through that just to show you. Again, just like every other install, you accept the terms. This is a fresh install on an empty hard drive. So you go to custom, have the hard drive highlighted, press next, let the install begin, and it's going to run now. Okay, so I'll let that set up. I'm not going to stop the video yet. So this is the folder it's in. So you go back to storage image. So what you want to do on the folder that you uh, extracted the image to is right click. Give access to specific people. To make it simple for exemplary purposes, I say everyone. But as long as if this is already selected, admin, or whatever your username is, whatever, however you log in your computer, that is really all you do need. And for security reasons, I recommend just doing that. And then just simply share. It'll give you the, as I was saying, you can also use your computer name. So there's how you would access it through your computer name. You just simply use your drive the drive letter you selected, and then backslash, backslash, computer name, backslash, folder name. All right, I'll quickly pop back into the install just to show you that it is running, and it is going at a pretty good pace. I'm going to stop the video there. I told you it would be short. Um, the next video I want to do is actually creating a Windows PE image. That's all for tonight. I hope this was informative. And stay safe, everyone. Thank you. Take care.